the forms this weekend? I, I thought we performed very well. Uh, we wrestled hard. Our younger girls upset a bunch of ranked wrestlers this weekend. Uh, putting them in that position uh, was, was interesting. interesting. They got a little bit nervous, but the most important thing is we got closer to King and we have three starters out. Yeah, talk about that championship duel. The championship duel, we, uh, Cody Fowl uh, lost to that girl last time, pinned her. Uh, Kayla Aguil lost the last time, pinned her opponent. Uh, Emily Webster won by three last time, tech the girl. Uh, Heather, Heather O'Connor has is, is, is just become a beast at heavyweight. She's wrestling very well right now, and our younger girls are closer. Uh, they're not at that level yet but they'll get there. It's, it's, it's important on our journey to the national championship that, that we, not, we win at the end, not at the beginning. At the beginning we find our mistakes, we correct, uh, and we move on. And our girls are, are real excited about the next time we face King. Uh, they're very confident that we can overturn this loss, and I am too. What, in, what individual performances uh, were, were stood out to you this weekend? Uh, it would be Emily, Cody, and Kayla. Uh, they did wonderful jobs. Uh, Rachel Archer beat the number three girl in the nation, who beat the girl she just lost to. Um, Carla Ponce beat uh, Factorio from Lindenwood, who's ranked number two or three. So we're wrestling better. Uh, but the team as a whole wrestled very well. The younger girls are much improving, and, and we've got a pretty young team. We put a pretty young team out there. We only had two seniors in our lineup this weekend, and uh, hopefully by the end of by January we'll have four. So I, I'm looking for a real promising season. I'm real excited about it. I know we lost, but you know sometimes when you lose, you look at what the future is, and our future is real good. Our future is real good.